A Grade 1 Novices Chase is next, a 2 of 5 furlong. Grade 1 Novices Chase always flying David Hooley. Craskend Avenue, Darren Thompson, Grand Ultimist, the red hot favourite for Darren French. Well, you'd think it would be, but it's 9 to 1 according to that. Man of Lord, Leon Van Rinsburg, Publisher Rustling, David Robertson, Sierra Vista, Fair Vinnie Gerald, Domes of Panga, Darren Thompson, Gold Tiara, Graham Clutterbuck, Radiant Heart, Leon Van Rinsburg, Sea Gold, David Hooley, The Miss, Joshua Sutherland, The Witch Queen, Joshua Sutherland, and Tight Craig Beckwith. 13 of them in this one then, and I'll tell you what, I'd take the 9 to 1 about Daniel French's horse if I was going to have a bet in this, then away and racing, and heading towards the first, so sorry about that Daniel, your horse is now almost certain to fall, as they head towards the first of the 13, and Domes of Panga in the lead, this one should be slightly different for next week, because the Golden Miller or whatever we call it now, I don't know what it's called anymore, the 2.5 mile novice chase at Cheltenham is over, Two and a half miles, whereas this is two mile five, so an extra furlong today. So keep your eyes open for that. See anything that is, looks like so it's doing its best work at the two and a half point. Give a clue for next week, anyway. I'm rambling again. It's very late at night. It's two o'clock in the morning. No, it's not actually even later than that. It's two o'clock in the morning. Well, I've started it's half past two now. I've just finished chatting to Grey and uh, finishing off these comms. If we get a couple of hours sleep for it all starts again tomorrow. Anyway, it's Domes of Panga in the lead. With Sierra Vista Fair and Gold Tiara. Craskend Avenue, they get over to third. Domes of Panga is the leader. Gold Tiara second. And Sierra Vista Fair is third. The miss after that and then tight. Craskend Avenue after that, and then Grand Ultimist. That's the one that I was on about earlier. I think I might call it something else. And Daniel French's horse is mixed up. And that's the one who's won about that's four or five times, I think, as they pass the winning post. And according to the race card, was traded at nine to one, which would be pretty good, wouldn't it, if you could get nine to one? Imagine that if you could get nine to one on that in this. A bit each way still, wouldn't it? Well, it would sound like it at the moment. It might not be. In a few minutes, they get over that next one. And Domes of Panga is in the lead. Sierra Vista Fair is second. Then Grand Ultimist is after that as they get over the fifth. But you don't take too much notice of me about betting stuff because I don't live in a multi million pound mansion, which I probably would be if I was that good at spotting good bets. But anyway, it's Domes of Panga who is in the lead. Oh, Grand Ultimist is in second as they get over the sixth. And Sierra Vista Fair, the Witch Queen after that. Joshua saw them having a great week. And, oh, yeah. It's a fairly safe bet that they'll have another one of those next week as they come into the seventh. I get over the seventh, okay. All still on their feet with Domes of Panga in the lead. Then the Witch Queen and Grand Ultimist with always flying in Sierra Vista Fair, then Gold Tiara as they take this ditch. As they all stream over nicely tight, just a back marker. You can see the cheap seats are even cheaper seats on this course because they're even further away and they haven't even got a fence to look at. They have just a bed as so they get over the next and they're all safely over that one with Domes of Panga in front. Sierra Vista Fair second, the great publisher Rustling is now third, then the Witch Queen and Grand Ultimist on the inside, then Seagull, Radiant Heart, and the Miss with always flying as they get over the next. As they all sail over nicely. Of Panga continuing to lead with the Miss, who's now just starting to move through on the outside. Sierra Vista Fair is still there, they've got three fences to take, and there's plenty still in with chances in this one. Domes of Panga cutting out the run. This is the final ditch over that one. They go, there's a fall there, I think. The one Sierra Vista Fair's gone. The Domes of Fang Panga's in the lead. Grand Ultimist is now in second. Then comes Publisher Rust in third. Sea Gold is four. Then after that, always flying. And then Radiant Heart, the Witch Queen, trying to get into it. The Miss has just dropped, lost her place a little bit as they get over the second last. And Domes of Panga still going well in the lead. Sea Gold now moves into second. Grand Ultimist is now back in third. Publisher Rust in four. Then the Witch Queen after that one as they head down towards the final fence. And the Domes of Panga are clearing the lead still from Sea Gold and Grand Ultimist who's trying to run on in third, they come in 
down towards this final fence then there and Domes of Panga landed in front Domes of Panga from Seagull Gold Ultimus back in third the Witch Queen four then Publisher Rustin after that one finding the miss after that but it's going to be Domes of Panga I think he's now near into the final furlong but Domes of Panga is two to three lengths clear starting to tie up though Seagull is in second but not making that much ground on the leader these two are well clear of the rest of them and Domes of Panga he's going to take it Domes of Panga is the winner Seagull he's going to be second close for third just published and rusted and the witch queen raining out the miss always flying out of that then god ultimate don't take any notice of me on what's a bet on sorry daniel but anyway it's win for domes of panga Ooh, darren thompson seagull second for david hurley publisher rustin for david robertson was third the witch queen joshua Zillan fourth and raining out leon van rensburg for fifth Big, big prices, all those, really. And it'll be interesting to see what happens over a furlong shorter next week.